In the next two slides, we'll cover the basics of R and RStudio and how to go about installing R and RStudio, which I'd like you to do before the first lab section. So before you can install RStudio, the first thing you'll need to do is to go to the CRAN R project uh, link and install uh, R as a language itself. Um, R is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, and you'll see separate kind of links that have instructions. Uh, don't mind the fact that this website looks like it was designed in the 1990s. Um, it probably was. Um, and despite the fact that it looks like it hasn't been updated, the content itself is actually up to date. So particularly on Mac OS, you'll see some instructions about uh, installing uh, XQuartz, which is a separate module. Uh, and so when you go ahead and try to download and install R on a Mac, it may ask you to install a couple of other things uh, to get it working. So uh, I, first go ahead and install R. Um, once you've successfully installed R, you can go to this link below at the RStudio website and install RStudio Desktop. Uh, they have a couple of different versions. The version that you need is the free version, which has uh, all of the features. Uh, it just doesn't have support uh, as you might need from like an enterprise installation of RStudio. Um, and if you don't have access to a, uh, a laptop uh, with Mac, Windows, or Linux, or if for some reason uh, you know, you're having uh, difficulty with uh, getting RStudio installed on your uh, computer, you can also use RStudio Cloud, where if you make an account, you'll have kind of an instance of R uh, available to you, uh, where you can kind of, uh, it looks just like RStudio, uh, but it's kind of running in a web browser. So once you've installed R and RStudio, Go ahead and open RStudio and install Tidyverse. Unlike uh, Python, where you have to install packages from the command line, in R, all the packages that you install are installed directly within RStudio itself. So you'll see a little gr greater than sign in the bottom left of RStudio, which, is, uh, which I'll refer to as the R console. Go ahead and type in install.packages uh, with Tidyverse in quotes. Uh, and if you do that, uh, you'll see that it will start to install packages. And this might take a little bit because Tidyverse itself uh, is made up of several packages. Um, but once Tidyverse installation is complete, what we'll do in lab is we'll actually go to file and, and start a new R notebook. And then all of our actual kind of data analysis will take place in R notebooks. One Important thing to note is that although I used smart quotes in install.packages where I have like those curly quotes, uh, when you're in RStudio, make sure to use the regular quotes, which is what will happen by default. But if you copy paste my code from this slide onto uh, RStudio, just make sure it doesn't copy the curly quotes. So just make sure to replace any curly quotes uh, in slides that I have with kind of the regular quotes. And they can be single or double quotes, they just have to be consistent. So R doesn't care uh, if you use single or double quotes. So as I mentioned, we're going to learn R the Tidyverse way. Uh, Tidyverse is not one package, but a set of packages. When you install and you load in uh, Tidyverse, a lot of these individual packages like dplyr, tidyr, ggplot, and several others will get loaded in. Tidyverse additionally includes a lot of um, other packages that won't get loaded in directly, but that by installing Tidyverse, you have access to those packages. And the way we kind of import packages in R, the way we kind of, if you think of a library and you're checking out a book so that you can read it, the way we check out those packages so that our code can then use them is we use this library function. And so if you type in library, uh, parentsy tidyverse uh, with or without quotes doesn't matter um, I typically type it without without quotes uh, this will actually kind of activate tidyverse so that you can then start to use the underlying functions of the tidyverse so uh, we'll kind of stop there if 
that last bit was a bit, you know, kind of uh, confusing or felt like I was kind of light on details. We'll actually uh, work, work through this together in our studio uh, in the coming lab. So don't worry if you're kind of stuck on some of those last steps. I would encourage you to get R, R Studio, and Tidyverse installed on your machine uh, prior to lab if you can. All right, thank you. I look forward to seeing you in lab.